Dr. Jeff Goins with another Dwarven Tavern review of Watsi's Wizards of the Coast Player's Handbook 5th Edition. Now, this one, this one is actually pretty cool. It goes over the things like height and weight and your starting age. And it talks about, the, it gives us the sample alphabets of Dwarven and Elvish and Draconic script. Um, and then it goes into things that are that's pretty cool that really is only kind of glossed over in in other editions, um, at least by me. I, I'm I've already got. I mean, we've I've been playing this game for decades, so all this stuff is not new to me. And we've all devi- designed our own in my various gaming groups, and including the the, the family group that I've got going now. And uh, uh, we're all pretty hip on uh, ins- things like inspiration and uh, creating character backgrounds and the like. And uh, this this book actually gives new players uh, an entire section uh, that uh, it's just it, it, inspiration for, for those characters. If you don't really know... And and uh, I, I had we had a recent new addition to our gaming group, who didn't really have any experience with D and D, didn't really know what to do. He liked comic books, but didn't really know how to create his own character. And uh, something like this would have been fantastic. Now I know there are character creation tools in the three point five various books, but in this player's handbook. It's it's all right here, and uh, we get into like things like um, you can roll up the acolyte and various personality traits thereof. Like for example, uh, he's a, he's got aspiration, which means I seek to prove myself worthy of my God's favor by matching my actions against his or her teachings. That's the aspirations of a, that's his ideal, okay? Whereas his bond is, I rolled a two, which is, I will someday get revenge on the corrupt temple hierarchy who branded me a heretic. And they all talk like Richard Burton. I don't. So that gives you a, a really good idea of what your your character is about to start with, and then that gives the dungeon master something to give you to do, if you want to go that route. If not, ignore it. But this is here. I mean, it's here for you to, to, to look at. So, very good. Then you've got the charlatan, who has a D8 personality trait, which in this case is, flattery is my preferred trick for getting what I want. You look lovely tonight. Give me your money. Take off your shirt. I don't know. Whatever they want. That's what they do. If I told you you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Like, right now? So, that's what this is about with the charlatan, and, and it has the other character classes, too, like uh, the criminal, the entertainer, da 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 F. Scott. Um, his bond is, I will do anything to improve my, myself superior to my hated rival. Curse you... I don't know, Justin Bieber, whatever, whomever is your hated rival. Um, and, and it also has things like the guild artisan, uh, the the hermit, the outlander, which was an excellent and very underrated movie. If you haven't seen it, do. Uh, the, uh, the sailor, the soldier, and the urchin. And... Then it goes on to equipment, which we will get back to on the next one. So, because there's a lot of really cool things in the equipment section. But that was a character, that was part of the character creation or personality and background. You can have it all pre-rolled for you if you want to just do something, have it going. So, this has been another Dwarven Tavern review of 5th Edition Player's Handbook. And don't forget to look us up at www.dwarventavern.net. Look us up on Facebook, give us a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.
Let 